Well, hello everybody, welcome back with me, you know me, I'm Kevin, and today we're gonna make a pencil box. So, well, yeah, as I say, well, where you kind of give your, just put your pencil and keep it there where it stands and where you can take it out again easily. Well, of course, not just a pencil, a pen, scissors, glue, or anything. So, well, now, we're actually just gonna cut the first piece first. Well, the one on the middle. Well, this is where you put your stuff in. Well, the other two is like for cover. For this one, we're gonna use two, two pieces. But here's the thing. We're gonna stack them. So we actually cut them both at once. But Kevin, this, this crawl saw isn't able to do that. We have a bend saw. Yeah. You two together with it. Drill press, yes, another new tool. I'm getting freaking No. So uh, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna find a way how to stack these both together with this thing fit on the middle here. So uh, probably I'm, I'm gonna do a triple stack. Well, basically like one, two, and three. Well, we're not really gonna use this thing. It. Well, yeah, because this single piece can actually hold up two of them, but we only have one plant. Of course, we're gonna stack. So now I've already made a light line. Well, so just in case it can be erased, where we actually don't need this one. Well, both works. First in here, and first, the second in here. Well, the third, we're actually just gonna grab from here, well, from this side, I don't know, we can use it for another project. Yep, so we just cut it and it, I don't know why it looks like that this thing has been cut like directly from the factory. Well, uh, for example, let's just take like the one step that for is straight. I mean like seriously, just, just compare how straight this is. Yep, but let's get to the point. First two pieces done, we're definitely gonna stack it with this thing on top here. Just one more piece. and glue them, glue them all and clamping it wait for a day yeah like that we're just gonna stick it and we're gonna cut it together with these yep. so 
So now we're just gonna send it. Yep, so now it's pretty much already nice and flat. Problem is, we still got these things to stand up. One, two, three sides. Let's just get started with this. Now, all three done. Of course, still dusty, so we can just so just just clean a bit. Yep, all three done. Now we're gonna glue it. Yep, the first two pieces done. Well, now we're just gonna glue, apply glue to this side and this side. So well now I've already glue everything. We have this piece. We as well, you know, clamping this thing directly onto the wood would leave a mark on the wood which sucks badly. So now what we're gonna do we're just gonna just open this thing up. You have a layer of this thing. basically just clamp it off so now well we're just gonna have to wait this thing to dry so well uh, now after a day this is half dried sticks strong first now we're actually just gonna put this thing the template here still have two of these to cut well, one and two of the other one here well but later though we're just gonna cut this one first first let's take it here so now well yeah we're just gonna cut it well I actually never cut a template <coughs> out with a pencil so now well probably the results might not be as good as what we expect Three, three wood like this being stacked up together it, it can just cut like easily like it can just cut like butter or something so now we're just gonna continue Okay, so well no, that was act actually was pretty hard, well, you know, because the blade is like so thick that it can't, it doesn't turn easily, well, it still cuts easily, but doesn't turn easily, so you just can't, you can't like, like, aim like that for here, example, you want to cut it like this, and then boom, you're done, and then here, done, like that, but well, eventually you're gonna need to curve it a bit, which, it's required if you want to cut this kind of thing, you know, cut. 
like a square thing or something. But well, I'm pretty sure the others are easy because well, for example this one, you can just do this then this, this then this. Yeah, simple. Wow, I'm really, really impressed with the result here. The I'm gonna express the cut the cuts are so freaking hell smooth that I don't think you even need to sand it off again. Well, actually, I, I think I should. And well, look at these pieces. The each cut is like, like huge. Well, the, the sides are just nice cut from each piece like this yeah I really love this thing so now well yeah after we're done cutting this get the pants off stuff is just still rough okay well so now what we're gonna do we're gonna use this thing well you've seen this thing in the in my other project the sword well <clears throat> just to recap a plank and two sandpapers glued together yeah Simple. And well, this thing is. I'm gonna use this thing for the inside while the outside got a belt sander off over here. Yep, I think that's enough. Well, the curve here. Just now that I see it starting to off nice and flat. Now, well, we're just gonna do the other surfaces with the belt center. So now, well, actually, before sanding this, I prefer cutting these two first. A single plank of wood this big is more than you got. Got some little excess here. Well, yep. Just this one. Okay, so yeah, one done. What we're gonna do with this is to stick it over like this. So well, you, you can have some place for you to keep your stuff. Well, <clears throat> yeah, just just leave your stuff over here and we can, you can obviously see it there. Here it's letter K. Yep, yeah, I make, I make it this way because my name. So now I'm just gonna cut the other one off camera so well now well after we pretty much make all the parts ready from now on no more cutting just sanding and sticking and painting so now what we're gonna do we're actually just gonna sand out all the inside stuff up the insides like for example this 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 side or this side because well you you can't sand them again once you stick this and this boat, yeah. So all now, mm, well, yeah. Also these sides. Well, I think that. Well, I'm just gonna use this side like with the belt sander, while the other side with the sander stick. This end. Oh yeah, let's just get started. Yep. Yep. So now I think the inside is done. Let's just get with this side. 
Well, not that. Of course, everything is inside. Well, but the kind of the, the case, okay. So now we're just gonna sand this side because we're gonna apply glue to this thing and stick. Well, I think the best tool for this is just the belt sander. Guess what? You know, same, all, almost the same width. Let's just get started, okay? Yep. Turn for this one. I think I should get a mask. Yeah. Yep. Got a mask already. Guess what? You know, I hate the sawdust and I hate it boy. Going in my nose. But anyways, it's really smooth. This side done, this side done. Just one, two, three, four. We're just gonna keep here. And yeah. Yeah, then all sides smooth except for this, 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 pretty much the outside. This one's also really smooth because I sanded this now. Now, just for this one, oh, well, you might want to leave the, the other faces like this. We still like the, the half inch, half inch ones, but just, just sand off the big faces because while well, you're gonna glue this thing while the others oh, say this is already glued you can just do this so what I, what I was what I have been doing since like well just now was actually uh, trying to make this line because well yeah just to make sure because well if I make it this way it could just ruin the whole thing well, you see just like these lines well they can easily be erased with the belt sander, I, I, I put this thing like as lined as possible based on the two bars like this because well, you know, I, I could just literally sand this thing off with the belt sander. So I'm just gonna do, do the other one and we'll, and we'll come back and do it. Yep, we're just gonna do it. you want to do is uh, glue it here okay down here because you, you don't want glue all over the, the inside yep. as you can see here it's, it's really good to be here between the two lines <coughs> but I had sorry guys I had to do it off camera well yeah I had to do it off camera because well it's just really hard the wood plies keep on rubbing and moving on each other and I also had to put these two planks between them and these things just literally slide off and I need to kind of twist this thing while holding it and I'm an extra I do not have four arms okay but it's just really hard so I gotta get some help but anyways we're, we're just gonna leave it a day for it to dry yep so now I've already take it off we're just gonna sand this thing well, again, grab your mask. Well, I think for this one, the, the difference between this and this here is just too thick, okay? So we're gonna we're just gonna sand it off over here. Yep, so now these sides done. Well, it's 
so now we're just gonna send the rest off because well it's easy to send it in the rest off well because you know this thing's not getting this side's not getting blocked by any parts well this side's getting blocked by this this by this and yeah just hard so what I did is for this one I'm using this one with this one too well the rest Yep, it is done. Just a little bit more painting. Because, well, you know, I've already sanded pretty much all sides I can find here. Well, with the belt sander, just the outside. Well, the inside, well, you already did it just now. And everything is very smooth. Well, actually, I know it's kind of annoying that these things are sharp and you just touch it and so you got her. Let's just make it a bit blood. Well, you don't have to use that thing, just use the sander stick. Yep, the structure is done. Sand it off, cut off, and I'm painting it. Yep. So I think th just this much layer is enough. Well, I know why this. <coughs> Sorry. Well, I know why it dries like really quickly. Got something. Well, I think I'm just gonna leave this thing to dry like completely. Just like, right over here. Now, just leave it. Yep. So well now. I've already given this thing a layer of painting and now it's really really nice. Well, it's you could end this thing right now, but just for a problem. It looks like I don't know, the letter K is not re it's not really clear. And this thing looks like a duck face or something. So now what we're gonna do, we're actually just gonna make the letter K different from the rest. Well I pick this a darker one because well it could just overlay this thing yep I have this one no we're not gonna paint it purple well I think before I <coughs> paint it here I've actually already did some testing yes the first time I opened this thing I got really confused I actually ended up pretty well it, it makes these nice dark colors but for this one, just give it a, a really thin layer, not as much as I did. Yeah. Before we paint this thing, we're gonna wrap this thing with just 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 a small one inch tape like this. Just wrap it over here. This has to be the entire thing, just to make sure that the paint doesn't spoil all the way over here and literally messing up your entire thing that you just did for me. So now we're just I'm just gonna wrap mine all. Yeah, just. Just a small strip like that. So now, we're just gonna start now to paint it. Well, it's different from the other one. Well, well the other one is just, you just kind of like dip your paintbrush and literally just wipe it over this thing. Well, now it's different. Just a small touch on the tip and wipe it the rest of the way. Later on the first, just on this side for now. So now I'm just gonna continue yeah, painting the rest. We're done. Just leave it dry, but still, it's 
little bit purple, purple-ish. But well, I know why this part dries quickly. Second. Yeah, this part dries quickly. Well, yeah, it's really dry, and it looks like really dark, and the purples like almost no more. Just like dark wood like this, but much darker on this side. But still, leave it dry. Yep, everything done, including <clears throat> pretty much everything is done. We're just gonna have to take this thing off and sand it. Yep. If you have a nice, nice clean wrap like that, well, there should be no leaks, and it should stop right at just right here, and no paint is leaking inside. around your desk as long as you still have space for you to write while eating in the garages right of them and right back. So so guys thank you so much for watching. Good luck making one of your these. Oh yeah guys well because you know, our names can be different like for example if your name starts with I don't know A Adrian or something like that well, <clears throat> go ahead and make a letter A. There's a lot of A. A until V. I'm pretty sure you can <clears throat> find the idea of how to stick the letter over here. If it is K, then this. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe.